Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be testing and comparing three different beeswax crayons. We have Stockmar, both their stick crayons and their block crayons, and um, we have New Zealand Honey Sticks. I also thought I would include Crayola wax crayons just for fun. Anyway, let's get into it. When judging between beeswax crayons, we're going to want to look at seven different criteria. The first one being smell. So starting with the honey sticks, I smell them and they smell amazing. The strong smell of beeswax definitely was very enjoyable. And then I go to smell the Stockmar block crayons and um, they smell all right. They're just not as strong as the honey sticks. Just very mild smell. And um, then I go to smell the Crayola wax crayons and they actually smell really bad. Um, I wasn't expecting them to have a smell, but um, yeah, they do, unfortunately. And then I go to smell the Stockmar stick crayons and they smell exactly like the block crayons. Starting with the honey sticks again, I go to open these guys and to my surprise, they are quite ugly, actually. As I take them out, I realize that they are lumpy and bumpy and uh, yeah, kind of like dirty looking, if anything. Um, I know they're handmade, so that obviously has to be taken into consideration. Um, I don't like how they're cut. It seems like someone took a knife and like cut them and not evenly, may I say. And on the box, it says that to look out for them blooming. So, I mean, maybe they're blooming. That's why they look like that. I don't know what that means. Um, and then I go to Stockmar. And obviously, these are beautiful, bright, straight. But what I don't like about them is that they kind of have like this cold, kind of plasticky appearance. I mean, I guess that fades with the use. Um, the more you use it, it probably wouldn't look like that. Then I go to the Starkmar um, stick crayons, and they are nice. Um, they feel comfortable to use. They have a nice paper. Um, yeah, I like them. And obviously the usual Crayola crayons are nice. There's nothing special there. So starting again with the honey sticks, um, they feel quite comfortable. They are definitely nice and thick and would be very hard for a child to break. When using them, I found that I did have to apply some force, and uh, that might be difficult for young children. Then I go to use the Stockmar block crayons, um, and at first I like them, but then I realize I don't feel very comfortable the way that I have to hold them and use them in that kind of weird shape way. Um, it's just not normal I would say. It's not a normal crayon shape. Then I go to use the Stockmar um, sticks and they are super comfortable, glides super easy and um, I like that. Then I go to use the Crayolas and they work fine and easily too. So starting with Crayola, um, these contain paraffin waxes and non-natural pigments and so they probably wouldn't be the best choice for your children. Then moving on to Stockmar, um, many people don't know this about Stockmar, but they also contain paraffins and other waxes and um, petroleum products. I think the beeswax content is only like 10%. Um, they say they use synthetic organic pigments from Europe. Then going to Honey Sticks, um, they claim to be all natural and non-toxic and only use food grade pigments. And they also claim to have the highest concentration of beeswax compared to other beeswax crayons on the market. Starting again with the honey sticks, um, I decide to um, make a flower. And um, yeah, I use these and I don't apply too much force. Um, it quite, quite vibrant colors actually. I was quite surprised. I wasn't expecting the colors to be um, that vibrant. And um, yeah, it was kind of easy, easier than I thought because in my first test, it was quite hard to use um, the honey stick but this time it was much easier and I really um, like the colors how the colors came out next I am using the Stockmar block crayons and um, I am actually not really enjoying this at all uh, if I keep using the block crayons on a angle then it will no longer be a block it will be a blob 
But um, yeah, the colors kind of turn out similar, but um, I definitely like the honey sticks more. They felt more buttery. Then going to the Stockmar stick rounds, these were really nice. They were very bright, vibrant, very easy to use, and very buttery. Um, yeah, I like the colors. So far, that was the best in colors. And then I used the Crayola, and um, I was quite surprised, actually. They were quite nice as well. Uh, yeah, it was quite easy to use, and uh, the colors were were good. Yeah, so overall, um, I was very surprised by the Honey Sticks. They were very enjoyable and ended up being very enjoyable, and um, quite disappointed in the Stockmar blocks because it's just not very easy to use and um, the colors didn't come out as nice. So for this test I decided to only use the primary colors which are red, blue and yellow and um, I want to use them to make all the other um, secondary colors, um, the colors of the rainbow let's say. And so I start with Stockmar and I start with the red and then I add yellow to the red to make orange. Um, I find I'm using a lot more force than I would want to, and uh, then I add um, blue to the yellow to make green. That came out quite easily and was much more smoother than the red for some reason. And then I add um, red to the blue to make purple, and I find I have to go over it again one more time with the blue um, to make it darker than, than what it was. Um, it turns out nice. I mean, I'm quite happy with it. And uh, then let's try um, the honey sticks and see how we go. So turning the stick on its side so that we can use it as a block, I start with the red and um, this is much easier, but I am still using some force. Um, but it is easier than the Stockmar blocks. Then I go to add yellow to the red to make orange. And this also was kind of disappointing. For some reason, the reds of both Stockmore and Honey Sticks are not easy to blend. Then adding blue to um, the yellow and it makes green and this also was quite easy. Um, I add blue to the rest of the section so that I can try out the purple and the, the blue with the red again. And this also was quite disappointing so I had to go over it again with the blue so that it made a darker shade of purple. Overall I'm happy with the results. It was easier to use um, and um, I guess Blended all right. I'm not sure which one was better, to be honest. I guess that would be for you to decide. So for a 12 pack of Honey Sticks, you're looking at anywhere between $12.50 to $16, not including shipping. And that's actually quite a good value um, for pure beeswax crayons. Next, for Stockmar, you're looking at anywhere between $22 to $26, not including shipping. And they are, of course, on the more expensive side. And then for our Crayola, you're looking at anywhere between $1 to $3 for a box of crayons. And are the most affordable option, of course. So for me, the win today goes to Honey Sticks. I know they may be ugly on the outside, but I guess we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I hope you found this video beneficial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I have also included the links to the products in the description box. Thanks for watching.